hello friends today i'm going to show you how to maintain um, instance configuration changes into one table why i'm doing that like uh, if you want to migrate uh, to the if you want to migrate this to another version which is there so there whatever the changes that i have done in this mission that won't get reflected right so only databases that so for that i what are the changes that i uh, that is been there in this instance i need to copy or i need to do the same in other instance for that i need to have a copy all right so and one that is the one thing the second thing is like uh, if any uh, stored procedure or performance are so big suddenly query became very slow then uh, like we can uh, start like uh, what are the changes pre yesterday from yesterday onwards it is working fine so like is there any configuration changes done on the server level let's see from there we can start the troubleshooting right so this is one of the step okay i don't uh, don't say that this is the only first step that we are going to that is the one of the step so first if we revert those changes then no need to worry at all right so now we are going i am going to uh, show you how to configure uh, this setup okay and right now i'm go i am going to configure this one table in the master database and i'm going to create one cluster index on that table now this is the configuration generally all the configuration changes will be there here now what i'm doing i'm inserting into this table now just click execute this is done now if i see here if i see here click execute as of now i didn't get any error okay i know sorry any uh, inputs why because no changes now what i'm going to i'm going to instance properties go to connections or database settings or non security maximum number of connections now what i will do so yeah. now here maximum worker threads are zero 128 right now i'm setting as a zero and coming to database advance are like permission settings here here cost of threshold uh, is 225 right i am setting as a 500 and i'm selecting as a okay now i have done two changes so now what i need to do i need to this make this uh, into uh, i need to set up a job so the into job so that the job will run every one hour or every uh, like um, every day so that click execute now it got again inserted now if i use this ctf function if i click execute see now max worker trace on this date so previous value uh, like 128 128 now it's gone changed to 00 cost of threshold value is previous value is 25 now it's got changed to 500 so this is how you can uh, you came to know what the changes that they have performed in in the sql server and also we have may uh, you are maintaining the data as well here we are maintaining in this data in this table we are make ma managing the data so we can uh, using this same information so we can apply in other instance as well okay so i got this beautiful script from sqlperformance.com i'm going to share this link and the my script as well okay and in the comment box you can get it from there i hope uh, you may like this video thank you